The doors to Beatrice Mays Institute Charter School in Houston's Third Ward opened on a Saturday. The topic of instruction for the day, health. If you're sick, it's hard to learn. If you, if you have any ailment that's going on within your body, uh, then it's very difficult to concentrate in the classroom, concentrate at home, and, and focus on what's necessary to be able to educate yourself and to be focused on your books. So one of the things that we're linking is being able to recognize what good health is so that it helps you in your discipline and education. This is the school's Live to the Extreme Health and Activity Fair, where dozens of vendors gather to provide information on a variety of programs in the community. Every area that we could think of, we, we invited as many um, people out, uh, vendors out, to educate the community about uh, total health. Including dental hygiene. For your nice happy tooth, which is Mike. And fingerprinting by the Sheriff's Department. Families enjoyed music, games, and prizes. It's part of an effort to bring overall wellness to the surrounding community. One parent on the organizing team says this is an excellent start and hopes to see the focus on health and wellness increase. I'd like to see more of health sort of incorporated throughout the subjects. Um, there's a lot that can be done to make talking about health a lot more commonplace for kids. Um, for example, you know, instead of in social studies, having them learn about different cultures and maybe how they eat in their cultures and maybe what they do that's more positive um, health behavior wise. Um, so I think that helps a lot with kids to help them learn to value health care. Um, maybe in math, you know, using fruits, you know, to count up you know, in mathematics, um, in science, doing science projects with the different foods, um, with exercising. So I'd like to see it incorporated more into the curriculum. And one of the things we've gotten involved in was lacrosse and bringing lacrosse to our campus as well. So our PE teachers, our physical education instructors have gone to a, an instructional camp with lacrosse and to learn about lacrosse and how historically it has been a part of this American society and we're bringing it here to our uh, youth here. So once a lacrosse player becomes disciplined in his, in his field, in his area, he's able to focus and use that elsewhere. So it's kind of like trying to find out how can you tack into discipline and use that to help the classroom. So.